Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the peak, and we are good. Ready, Pam? Three. Que hubo, pues. Two, one. And. For more than two decades, New York based law firm. Mr. Yates? It's Aaron, sir, fr from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Men. Sorry. Yes, sir, I have the file. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access our remote server to print everything. And I, I couldn't get my VPN to. Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Every time one of those British guards walks past me, my shoulders get all thin. you at the club on Saturday, you know? Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. What's up? Would you care for an aperitif? Hi there. Specialist ever to graduate from Kent. Ran one of our interrogation black sites for a while, and I tell you, those prisoners folded like lawn chairs. I couldn't believe it when she left the agency to go. As you know, this crepe is known and grown the world over, but you should find that ours distinguish themselves very well. Yeah, hey! To the sides and back
Zion's Ingram and something Dutch sounding. Corvos got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Name is the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Let's see the tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist when all the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I could. You aren't telling me what I'm doing. Yeah. Here's all. Right, come on. On the tour or after. So you're not sure. Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught. I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly? Right. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of risk, you need to start letting me in. Okay. So who's this fool guy? Did you see the wine list? Thank you. I'm more of a beer man myself, <laughs> nah. but if Yates wants nah, to bring no the problem. heralds closer together and I just never a framed an urban stuff. legend before. Very post truth. Edward's always I like it. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I'd say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Vernon? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki. Well, he I think and smell. Right, thought so. Please call a car and have the best court, Mr. Yates' brother, back to the rehab. Why do you have to be such a baby? Old I feel you are violating my personal space. What are we I'm sure someone's gonna like you, yes? What do you think? Look, I'm not gonna. Just find another boy. No fear. Or with a laughing stop. My mother trusts me. CEO of Kronstadt. I dare say congratulations are in order. Welcome to the Yates Winery. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. Hey, good to see you. We 
Greetings, senor. Of course, parents were political, fought on the side of the junta, and Tamara always was a crime. You ask me, the constant must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? How could she be a Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes, yes it was. Johannesburg What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if it's from his wife or me. Bring me the three Malbec grapes. Yates doesn't like how I prioritize. He can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. I was an attorney for four decades. I served the law. Now, I serve something far greater. I serve the law. No, my picking knife.
Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yeah. Now, did I leave it at lunch? No. Only you keep no, black color. Here when good size. Oh. Large oh. and firm. Stupid. Patron is winning. Brown. Grapes. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why? I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I I have a third to contact. Third to contact. Will do. Great job, Ramon. Good great. That knife is coming out of your color. The four decades I saved the law. Now, I saved something far I saved the law. In the land of men, those are bound to live. I grew up here. These majestic plains were my playground. And the seven years now, we passed the mountain of my ancestry. No. 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 You should have. Hello. Loving care by local experts. We have only one purpose. The best wine in Argentina. Fellow wine lovers. Hello. Hey, Welcome partner. to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So Mr. how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last, but no least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack-of-all-trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice 
using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the steamed grapes into a thick pulp or must by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipeline. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. A waste of space, if you ask me. Yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So if there's no further questions, no way. This damn year that keeps happening to me. Ah, contact. Ah. What happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retired to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates's fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrived to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. Shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little... Harold get together up in the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Harold once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief.
flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. The narrow room is all controlled by the ventilation system. The state of the art room. Highly safe. Pretty operating. I'm a bit of a grease monkey in my spare time. My area is If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. How did he even get his hands on the bottle? 
I hear the last of the 45s were sold to Sheikh Omar Al Ghazali for six thousand dollars. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes, uh, a curious story. See, that bottle you refer to came from a case of twelve, which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle shipping container that went down in the South China Sea during the final days of World War II. Now, of those twelve, only five were raised intact. Al Ghazali bought one under great media coverage, while the others simply disappeared quietly obtained by some clandestine private collector. Now, until one of the bottles was donated to Mr. Yates by Byron Washington. See? CEO of the Pax Mundus Foundation as a reward for winning a court case. Now, Byron's twin daughters were treasure hunters, so that explains how he managed to get first pick. Ah, but you see, I was here when the bottle arrived, and the crate it arrived in bore a curious logo. Something called the Ark Society. Intriguing. Do you know what it means? Well, not a clue. And now, we will never know. Oh, you don't get attached, Santino. For all fine things in life are transient. Hey, flowers! Over here. Come on, while we're young.
Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. You want to pass? I check your pockets. That's not up for discussion. I better not find something on you. You don't want to know what's going to happen if I do. Okay, man. Vamos. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like 
Loyalty? Absolutely oh, right. Absolutely. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? what? what you You're saying? lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. 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 I, mean. I agree. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you all get. What? Don't throw that around here. <clears throat> Took you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long.
Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So? Private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. No, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy oh, shit! Do you asshole? Do you stand there? Shoot her! And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. Don't let my wife find me. Like this. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever cases. Doesn't ring a bell. So. yard is clear. Whatever.
It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether brand neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent.